Hey gang, Matt from Atlas Precision Consulting here. In today's video, we're going to talk about DynaChange again, and we're also going to talk about adding fields again. Um, we did a, a basic one that covered dragging and dropping the fields that are over on the left here in the DynaChange screen. Um, what I'm going to talk about is up here at the top, there's an add new field. When you open that up, there's four options. The screen only column, we're not really going to cover. I'm not sure if we're going to do a video on it. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing a video on it, just put a comment below. Uh, the new database column, we will definitely do some videos uh, on that. That is your user-defined fields, uh, but that, that warrants its own video, or two maybe. Um, Ad-related table. I'm not going to do this one for the simple reason that it requires SQL statements to make it happen. Um, you have to write some join statements to connect uh, this information to another table. Uh, it's very easy to do that wrong, um, which is why I don't want to show everybody how to do that. Even if you have the uh, the permissions to access this, I still caution you on being very, very careful with using that. Um, you can have lots of bad effects from a bad SQL statement on this related table. Um, this and anything should also be done in a play or test environment. That should go without saying, though. What I want to talk about is existing database column. This is very similar to the um, drag and drop method of the ones that they already have listed here. But what it's going to do is when I drag and drop this, it's going to open up another screen. First, I'm going to choose my table that I'm looking for. And you can search these tables as well if you're trying to find it. Um, so I could come in here and I'm, let's just say I'm going to grab company for, for some reason. And what happens is these are all the columns within that table uh, that I can also add to the screen. Um, again, these are searchable. I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna grab, uh, we'll just grab something random. We'll date created. When I click okay, wherever I dragged and dropped that, you will see that there is that new table. Um, and there will also be um, the same limitations on some of the other basic or fields that you can drag and drop. Some will be protected and you can't edit them. Um, some will let you do whatever you want with them. Uh, so I'm gonna save this real quick and then we'll come back in uh, just so you can see that it's there. Okay, we have logged out. We're now logging back in. Uh, so we'll see that that change is uh, gonna be populated on the screen now. Um, it's probably gonna be scrolling down here a little bit and there you go. Um, now this one, which has the, the this is the what we the date created of the company. For some reason, this one will allow me to edit that here. So it it there's never a hard and fast rule of what you can and can't edit, but just be careful because if you give the wrong person permissions to some things, they could really mess up some stuff. Uh, so if you guys uh, have questions about fields or anything else in data changes or anything else for that matter uh put a comment down below please like and subscribe uh and atlas will be here for your profit 21 needs thanks guys